Okay, you two. I'm back to my favorite little spot next to the river to show you a place where I plan on doing quite a few videos upcoming. But I came here to talk to you about how I want to develop my channel. I've decided that I want to share with you guys a simplistic, and I will say it like that, way of utilizing plants for your benefit. Now, the format, what I'm going to be doing with the channel will be that I will not be in front of the camera. I want the plants to be the star of the camera. The biggest reason for that is I don't want there to be any distractions. I have become a YouTube junkie. I'll, I'll admit it. And in watching others' videos, I've noticed that there seems to be always these people that lurk in the background that want to dissect the people in front of the camera. I, I watch a political conservative that has dreadlocks, and I saw a comment on his feed that's a morning glory right there uh, the moonflower morning glory this is where I was the other day it's wrapped around what appears to be uh, probably a goldenrod about to bloom um, he, he had a comment on his page that his some of his, his dreadlocks look to have been missing. And, and what happened to his dreadlocks? And I was like, WTF people, get a life. And then on some of the videos where there's a, a female, there are wildly inappropriate uh, comments on those threads. And there, then there is. Uh, I want to. I want to show you this real quick, uh, and I'll finish talking. This is a Lactuca varosa who has not been pruned, trimmed, or handled at all. And you see how all of the leaves are shriveled up and and gone. And this makes me very proud that I went in and and as I have cut my stalks and pulled my leaves, said I. I made my growing season longer and I was able to yield more from my plant. Now back to what I want my channel to be. I also have been a big fan of John Kohler growing your greens for years and the first year I discovered him, I mean that joker's got thousands of videos. And the first year I watched five years worth and I, one of the things I noticed on his videos this is a sycamore tree I will probably begin sneezing immediately um, is that there would be these comments these these forgive me but asinine comments John we don't like you in the plaid shirt John we like you in the pullovers John the striped shirt makes you look fat John you need a haircut John we like your hair parted on the left side John you you are gaining some weight John you need to lose some weight John you need to uh, uh, straighten your shoulders it's just all kinds of things that miss the point of what he was doing in in his very oh my god if you haven't seen growing your greens with john kohler his channel is just wonderful and so that's why i want to stay behind the camera because i want 
the plants and, and, and just look at this place just just look at this lush beautiful gift of nutrition and health that I'm standing right in the middle of and I want to make this the star of my channel you know here's a butterfly plant and um, there's some sumac trees over there which I'm planning on doing a video uh, soon on those from my sister's house from some of the ones that have already set their berries and their blooms and I want that to be the star and the other thing that I want to say about my channel as I have been watching others channels I, I want all of you to to watch as many channels as you can and find the format that suits you I'm not going to be using a lot of chemical words. I'm, I'm not even going to be explaining how a lot of these things work. The, the, the adaptogenic herbs and things like that. Because my daddy taught me that you need to speak in ways that people can understand you in the best way possible for them in in the most efficient and effective way and that's why when I've been doing these videos on the Lactuca Verosa I'm just telling you hey here's the plant here's what I've been doing and here's what if you want this effect then then you need to do this because honestly there have been times in my life I don't need to know all that extraneous stuff don't tell me that I just need to know the important highlights there are enough places and resources certainly online that you can find these things out in detail for yourself that that I don't I don't want to waste your time I want to give you the highlights here's what's going to help you in this way and here's how to do it if you want the the deeper information there are videos out there for you I'm also not going to uh, play a lot of drum music or or pipe music or or bells or whistles I'm I'm just a, a middle-aged woman out here showing you how to help yourself because I've really struggled I've struggled with poverty and not having health insurance and and having some serious health issues and then going you know um my daddy told me some stuff that time we were riding on horseback over the farm and trying to recall those things and then using literature and the internet to pull those things from my memory and then hone them and now that I have access to being able to share them, I want to share that. So, I've come here today to share with you what I want to do with my channel. That's a young bodoc tree right there. I recognize that anywhere. The, the thorns right there. The glossy leaves. That's called an Osage Orange. Uh, Bodoc is what we call it around here. It has an orange wood and, and these big, large balls that come off. And if you got an older brother, they'll stuff them with firecrackers and throw them at you over the summer while you're standing at the barn. And it's hilarious. Anyway, so those are a few little things that I, I thought I would bring up for you. I live in southern middle Tennessee at the at the state line area. I drive over and live in an area that covers three counties and 
I live in an area that has three rivers nearby and I do have quite a bit of personal knowledge. Oh my goodness, just hit the jackpot, passion flower vine. Okay, I've been trying to think about what I wanted to show y'all and, and where I go to get it because the family farm is not on my way. I have to go out of my way to, to get to it to show you things that I know are down there. And, and it's like an Eden. But right there, there's a Passiflora passion vine. And I will be coming back here to do an in-depth video on that. <coughs> and the allergies begin. I have just taken me a Claritin. Uh, and I know that this is because of the sycamore tree I have uh, extreme sycamore allergies, but again, that is something I will also cover. Sycamore trees are a sign of potable water. They have a gray, white bark, and anytime you see those, you know that there is potable, safe water nearby. So even in this little video telling you about what I want my channel to be, and I hope you've, you've stayed with me to, to hear all this because I really do want to share these things. My daughter, I'm going to try not to get emotional, but here it comes, is a licensed herbalist, and she's a healer, and she works at it she gets paid for it i'm so proud and she told me recently that she does that because of me because of how i affected her because of what i taught her <clears throat> so she heals other people because of what i taught her and that makes my heart just burst with joy. So that is one of the reasons why I have decided that not just influence my child, but to influence others to heal themselves. Here is the, the passion fruit flower, and here is the little fruit that it is setting and I have made myself sick on these eating so many it's highly nutritious like I said I will do an in-depth video on it but that that's a that's an extremely long video and like I said I hope you all tune in I hope you share my videos because I really do want people to have a healthier quality of, of life. I have been so lucky in the upbringing that I had and having a family that educated themselves. This is yellow dock seed right here and lived off of the land and lived a rich and full life being farmers and like I said living off the land and this little patch of land right here in the middle of the city on my way to work is going to be one of the places that I do several videos on in the next week or two so I just wanted to share that from my heart with you, YouTube, and thank you for being out there so that I can reach people, and thank you all of my subscribers in the comments, because y'all have touched my heart as well, because now I know that I am really helping people, and that's all I really want to do. Thank you, and have a good day, YouTube.